Hey guys, welcome to third grade, chapter seven, lesson 11. We are gonna be working on the order of operations today. So we are going to be writing down if it, the order of operations is written correctly in the right order, or if we need to move things around. So if it's correct, we're just gonna write correct. If it's not, we're gonna write it in the right order, okay? So in these, we don't have any parentheses and we don't have any exponents. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cross those off because that means that all we're dealing with now is multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, okay? So, when you are doing multiplication and division, you do whichever one comes first. Same thing with addition and subtraction, okay? Whichever one comes first in the problem, okay? But they go together, okay? So in this one, when we come across first, the first thing that we come across is multiplication. So we would have to multiply first. Okay, then we divide. Multiply, then divide. Okay, on this one, okay, we still have to go in order here. So we have to do multiplication or division first, and there's division right there. So we would have to divide, then we have to add. Okay, adding comes second. Okay, try doing number four on your own. Okay, by the way, this one, it already says divide and add, so we would just write correct. Okay, all right, so these, we're gonna fo follow the order of operations to find the unknown number. So I'm gonna go ahead right here where we can see it and write PEMDAS again, okay? Please remember that multiplication and division are together and addition and subtraction are together. It's whichever one comes first in the problem, okay? So, first in the problem that we need to worry about is gonna be multiplication and division. We don't have to worry about parentheses or exponents right now, okay? So multiplication or division first. Well, four times three is first. So that's 12. 12 plus six is gonna be 18, okay? This one only has addition and subtraction, so we can go ahead and do it straight across. Eight minus three is five, plus two is seven, okay? All right, now we have a division and we have an addition. Well, division comes first, so 24 divided by three, that's gonna be eight. Eight plus five is gonna be 13, okay? You guys try to do eight, nine, and 10, okay? We're gonna go down and look at, Shelly bought three kites for $6 each. She gave the clerk $20. How much change does Shelly get? So, we, our problem is gonna be 20 minus three times six, okay? Now, if we're using our order of operations, we have to do this part first. So, three times six is 18. So now, 20 minus 18, well that's two. Two dollars back, okay? Tim has five apples and three bags with eight apples in them. How many apples does Tim have in all, okay? So he has five apples plus three bags that each have eight apples in them, okay? So order of operations, Eight times three first, that's 24, plus five more, that's 29 apples. Okay, we are gonna go over onto the back where you guys are gonna take care of the lesson check, just like always. And then we're gonna go down and do the last spiral review of the chapter, guys. Okay, all right. Each story in Will's apartment building is nine feet tall. There are 10 stories in the building. How tall is the apartment building? Well, nine times 10, that's 90 feet. Make sure we're labeling, okay? Describe the pattern on the table, okay? So, in order to get from one to four, I can add three or I can multiply by four, okay? So if I go from two, if I add three, I get five, not eight. So that tells me that I need to do two multiplied by four. So multiply by 
four. Okay. We're going to go down and it says four decorations. Meg cut out eight groups of seven snowflakes each. How many snowflakes did she cut? Well, eight times seven, 56 snowflakes. Okay. A small van can hold six students. How many small vans are needed to take 36 students on a field trip? So 36 divided by 6 equals how many? Well, that would be 6 vans. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for Chapter 7. Come on back for Chapter 8. See you soon.